A Cup of Coffee, adapted from, inspired by Dorothy T. Samuel, Sometimes What It Takes, is Trust in What Would You Do, edited by John Howard Yoder. Setting, a major city, two women in their 40s, walking with paper cups of coffee in their hands. It's wintertime, early January, bitterly cold. The women are wearing top coats and gloves and long scarves. The paper cups are still adorned with holiday designs. It's kind of nice. Some people haven't taken their Christmas lights down. Angelo's Pizza. It's kind of weird. No, it's not. I like it. The drugstore, the diner. Yeah, it's, it's all wrong. <laughs> Even Greek Christmas is done. Bring down the lights. The coffee's nice. Yeah, holiday cups. I know it. It's a holiday hangover. <laughs> Fargo tonight, season I four. Am. <laughs> I'm here and I love that show. A man appears from the shadows. He's wearing a lightweight zip-up coat, a knit cap on his head. His face is full of hard lines and licorice stubble. He's in his, in his mid-30s, but looks older. All right. All right. All right. I need you two to stop right there. He bumps into them. This isn't a crowbar in my pocket. Hand over your money. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God ain't got nothing to do with this. From his jacket, the man pulls out a revolver. The handle is taped up. It looks like a Saturday night special. He's used this gun before. Now, money, come on, hand it over. But not on us. Oh God, we don't have money. Yeah, we don't have any on us. Yeah, none on us, none. Barbara and Joanne back up. The man waves the gun gently. Don't give me that. Come on now, you, you're drinking from them cups. Uh, these cups. Yes. We didn't pay with cash. I don't carry cash. I don't even carry a purse. She I reaches into her hip pocket and pulls out a small wallet, opens it up, pulls out cards. I just have my identification and credit and debit card. We, we don't carry cash. Debit. We use our debit. Barbara also checks her pockets, pulls out some subway tokens. She holds up some loose change. That's that's all I have. Debit card. ATM, huh? I need the money. He gestures with the gun. I need it. Get the money from an ATM. Yes. Yes, okay. There's an ATM down the corner. We could... <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not walking with you. There's been a whole spree of, of people you know, hijacked and taken to ATM machines and forced to take out money. The cops, they're watching the ATMs. And there's a cop shop just down the street from the ATM near the drugstore. And if I get, get caught doing that, then it's a kidnapping rap. Not just mugging, kidnapping. And you might even scream for help. Okay, okay, um. You want some coffee? It's, it's cold out here. You look cold. Joanne holds her cup out. I don't need coffee. I need. He taps his foot, sighs. I need a drink. I need money. I told you, we don't have any. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The gun, don't wave it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to relax, okay? He paces. And you're not helping. Now, one of you can go to the ATM and uh, the, the, the other- Wait's here. I'll wait for you, or with you. It's just a block. Barbara, it's okay. I'll wait here with him. And don't bring the cops, no 12. I won't bring the cops. Uh, give me your driver's license. 
Barbara does so. I will come back. Better. Glenn, I'll be back soon. Sure. Barbara squeezes Joanne's hand and leaves. Joanne bites her upper lip, hands in pockets, takes two steps away from the man, looks down the street in the direction of Barbara walking away. You scared? Yeah, you're holding a gun. You bet I'm scared. But not like Barbara, not scared like Barbara. No. Scared, but you agreed to stay. Barbara wouldn't have stayed. You did. Bet you wish you had a gun, huh? No. A gun doesn't help. And forgive me, but you need help. <laughs> help. I need a drink. <laughs> what are you? Uh, what? Try, yeah, some kind of social worker? Yes. <laughs> Figures. Just my luck. I get the social worker. But you going to reform me? I'm going to try to help you. Yeah, right. The man puts the gun in his pocket and looks up and down the street. She better not bring the police. Barbara said she wouldn't, and she won't. She's scared, but she keeps her word, always. Barbara, she's like, what? Um, you two. Uh, yeah. I thought so. I mean, that, that, that's cool. He looks down the street in the direction of Barbara's exit. You know, a gun gives you power. I mean, I learned that early in life. There's a different power. Please. What? Love? Charity? <laughs> what? The Holy Spirit working? You know, I've been to AA. <laughs> Failed miserably, that higher sp power stuff, and never cut it with me, okay? So don't give me none of that Sunday school jive. Where there's injustice, there's unrest. Uh, a social justice warrior is just that. We're not passive. We're warriors. But we don't use guns. We. Enough, all right. I, last time I heard this little tweet, <laughs> okay? I was in 10th grade, Shakespeare. The man shoves his hands deeper into the lining of his pockets. You like reading? <laughs> what kind of question is that? I don't know. I mean, the, I mean, you mentioned Shakespeare. I like Alice Monroe. I'm just making conversation, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I ain't got no time for reading. What I got is what I'm going to get. And what I'm going to get is a bottle of whiskey. Joanne nods. Man, it's cold. Here. She holds out her cup of coffee. He takes it, sips. Thanks. This jacket. <laughs> the zipper stuck halfway up. He tries to zip it up. Ah. No luck. He sighs, offers the cup back. She doesn't take it. It hangs in the air. <laughs> I bet you don't want to swap the copy, coffee back and forth with me, huh? No, I mean, it, it's okay. Keep it. <laughs> I thought so. I'm Joanne. She holds out her hand to shake. He doesn't take it. Yeah, yeah, I gathered that. And you're? No names. No names. If you come back to our place, we can give you some food, some blankets. I don't have a man's jacket, but I got blankets. Maybe a cup of soup or something? The man shrugs. I just need a drink. Wait, wait, all you social workers, what? Your, your cheerleader types saving others? No, not really. I never was a cheerleader. I was a nerd in high school, really good at math and music and English. I thought maybe you liked Shakespeare. Well, 
actually, yeah, I, I did. I, I, I liked English. Shakespeare, you know, Henry the Fourth, Part One, Prince Hal hanging in Falstaff's crib, and everyone thinks lowly of him. And then he takes down Hotspur. Like Hal had the juice, you know. He, I, mean, I love Hal. We read Romeo and Juliet in tenth grade. Yeah, that's all right, you know. But I, you know, I think Lear is my favorite. It's real dark, you know, the nihilism. I kind of dig that stuff. <laughs> that one's a bit of a bummer. We have extra blankets Joking. and three-week-old three soup in my cabinets. Uh, I never cared for home ec. Still can't cook. I always hated Jim. Well, look, you know, I ain't no project to work on, okay? So, so don't go getting sentimental. I don't see you that way at all. She reaches for the coffee cup. He hands it to her. She sips from it, holds it out to him. He smiles and takes it back. He sips. Barbara returns, holding up four crisp $20 bills. I'm sorry we don't have much money. Over the holidays, we kind of indulged. The man smiles again. <laughs> I never went to college. I mean, I always wanted to before the methadone got me off the H, but now, well, now I... I drink. He grabs two of the 20s, hands her back her driver's license. Gentleman's Jack. You know, you want to? It's cold. We can make you an omelet or something. We haven't shopped for groceries yet, but we got eggs, toast, turkey bacon. I don't eat pork. <laughs> Figures. He paces. Something to eat. Uh, distract me, huh? Uh, call the cops. I told you, no cops. No, I know. I'm playing with you. Joanne offered me some blankets, too. A cup of soup, even. You are hungry, then? Thanks, but uh, I, I just need a drink. The women say nothing. He sips coffee. You know, this is good. Um, a light roast, huh? Yeah. On the street, you become a real connoisseur of coffee. Like, I need that, right? I mean, uh, being a connoisseur, wonderful skill set to have. I'm a connoisseur. Can we go now? Unless you want something to eat. I'm more scared than her. Yes. You're not a social worker. No, I'm a substitute teacher. Not a very good one. No, you know, you know, you're all right. He sips more coffee. You two can go. But wait, you got a 10 for this 20? I don't need $40. A liter of Jack's is like under 30. You got a 10. The ATM machine only spits out 20s. I don't need 40. Take it. Yes, take it. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, maybe... He reaches out and grabs another 20. Maybe I'll get some food, too. Do that. There's a Popeye's around the corner. I know. I know. Is, is that where you meet some of your clients? I do. Sometimes. Uh, maybe you'll see me there one day. That would be great. The man nods his head, looks down. My name's Ted. And then he walks away, blackout. 